You might be able to outrun the hills and the clock, but can you outrun the air itself? That is the question. In this episode, you're gonna learn the crazy ways air pollution can steal your speed and how to fight back, where to find real-time data so that you can dodge the smoggiest spots on your route. Hang tight because in the middle of the episode, we're gonna give you a solution that's so easy and it's actually gonna get better. While taking care of your lungs now sets you up for better running long-term and much more. I'm Darren D. Lake, running and nutrition coach, sub three hour marathoner and 10 hour Ironman finisher. Since 1996, I've been helping other self-coach runners, researching and experimenting on how to better myself 1% each day because the 1% better runner, that's who we are, doesn't do three week quick hacks. Instead, we give you lifelong tools to run better for the next three decades. That's 30 years. Let's get into it. All right, so you remember the first time you laced up your shoes and thought, okay, I'm about to do this. I'm a runner, let's get into it. Back then the challenge was about building distance or learning to suffer through fast intervals. There's actually a better problem hovering around every corner, air pollution. It's dangling in the air. So let's break down what's actually going in your lungs when the air isn't exactly fresh. What is actually happening with air pollution and running? Air pollution isn't just hazy skies in the distance. We're talking microscopic particles, PM 2.5, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, the whole buffet of stuff no one wants in their lungs. According to an article in the Air Quality News, marathoners actually run slower times in areas with high pollution. So yeah, every breath you take, cue the police, could be chipping away at your performance. I'm not a lab scientist, but here's some quick data to inform you and not fear monger. When you breathe the bad air, your oxygen flow gets compromised, which can lead to faster fatigue and reduced endurance. It's not rocket science. And there's long-term exposure. Even if you're just doing short, easy type runs day in and day out, exposure can lead to inflammation and immune issues over time. It might feel like a slow drip at first, harmless on the surface, but it adds up. Boop, 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 like consistently bad habits. Over months and years, that invisible fog can seriously wear down your health and performance. All right, now that we know the problem, how do we actually deal with it and keep our runs on track? One simple and easy way to fix the problem. There are a bunch of options to make sure you're not running in bad air, but I think I found the solution. It's called AirTrack, that's one word, from Air Aware Labs. It's a Strava plugin right now, but very soon it will be an app. It dives deeper than the usual citywide air quality data. You get real-time data with a breakdown of the actual particles in the air for the exact block or trail you're running right after you run. They did not pay me for this. I wanted to do this because it's a really cool app and more people need to actually use this. So forget your town air quality moderate alerts. Now you'll know if that downtown city loop you love is actually a hotspot for bad air which allows you to train smarter. I don't think you should get obsessed though because it's not about stressing over every molecule in the air. It's kind of impossible. It's about having the info to make smart calls. If your go-to route is really smoggy after 8 a.m., maybe you bump your run earlier or later. Or if the air quality tanks midday, you head indoors on the treadmill or choose a tree-lined path. It's a small tweak that can make a big difference in how you feel at the finish. And they give you personalized data. So post-run, the Strava plugin, or hopefully soon the app, will show you how air quality might have impacted your pace of recovery. Maybe you notice you've been more sluggish on days with higher ozone levels or PM 2.5. Knowing that helps you spot patterns and tweak your schedule so you're not just blindly pushing through a bad air day. And hopefully they'll be sorting out real-time updates very soon because AirTrack is also working on that new app on your smartphone with up to minute alerts. You'll get quick heads up if any pollution spikes before you leave the house so you can dodge a rough patch altogether. I'm sure that's just a start as there's a bunch of other super valuable things that the app could do and probably will do. So if you dodge bad air, why does it really matter in the long run? Let's talk long-term impact. Future Darren here, and I won't do that thing. You know the thing where people go, hey, you should subscribe, rate, share, give a thumbs up. Rah, rah, rah. Now, while I'd love for you to do that anyways, please go ahead and do it. The next steps will be for you to transform your running life with our free 1% Better Runner 30 day base training habits plan and newsletter. Unlike other running plans and newsletters, we do not do motivational quick fixes and hacks. Instead, we focus on long term success that lasts from 30 days to 30 years and more. It's not just a training plan, but a mental shift. Think of it as your personal running therapist. Sign up for free at either dlakecreates.com forward slash news, web search 1% better runner newsletter, or get the link in the show notes or video description below. All value, no fluff, cancel anytime. Let's get back into it. 
why it's so important for runners. It's super important for runners to know the air quality for three reasons. One, performance edge, two, recovery boost, and three, longevity. Let's start with the first. So, performance edge. That air quality news article isn't messing around. Pollution can legit slow you down. If shaving a few minutes off your time matters, skipping high pollution bubbles could be a bit of a cheat code. Two, recovery boost. We haven't talked about that. So, boosting your recovery is huge because if you can recover faster, you can go back, do a harder workout, longer workout, and get faster. If you're breathing in cleaner air, your lungs deal with less irritation which means, again, you bounce back to those workouts much faster, meaning you'll get faster. Three, longevity. Running isn't just a hobby. For a lot of us, it's a lifestyle. 1% better runner. It's the whole thing. Keeping your lungs healthy isn't just about the next race. It's about sticking with this for the long haul and staying as strong at 60 years old as you were at 30 years old. The finish line. Final thoughts. So before you head out tomorrow, remember that the real challenge might not be the distance. It might be the air you are about to breathe. AirTrack is all about giving you real-time hyperlocal air quality metrics so you can get ahead of pollution. If you want more on AirTrack, see the link in the show notes. If you're listening or if you're watching, check the video description below. Thanks for rocking. If you want to learn more about how you can recover better after runs, check out these episodes right here.